Hey everyone, Solidjig back with another Season of Discovery Hunter video. In this video, we're going to talk about the best pets in Phase 2 and where to get all of your new trainable pet abilities. Going into Phase 2, it's no surprise, but cats with 2.0 attack speed are still the best in the game. That means if you have the rare cat from Northern Darkshore leveled up already, you have the ideal cat. If not, we need to head to tame a Ridge Huntress in the Badlands. They range from level 38 to 39 with that 2.0 attack speed, and they are the ideal pet for PvE due to its slower attack speed pairing nicely with Flanking Strike. If you're playing Ranged Hunter without using Melee Weaving, you can really use any cat, but this is still a great option as they are a high level pet to tame. If PvP is your focus, you'll actually want a faster attack speed cat, and Broken Tooth is a rare in the Badlands that has a 1.0 attack speed, which is by far the best in the game for PvP in Phase 2. Oh, and a pro tip when you're hunting for Broken Tooth. If you stand on this hill at this location, you can cast Eagle Eye across all three spawn locations to speed up your search for this rare spawn. You will want to make sure you train both Rank 6 Bite and Rank 6 Claw at level 40. And you can learn both of these abilities by taming two beasts in Swamp of Sorrows. We'll start by heading to the southeast corner of Swamp of Sorrows to locate and tame a level 40 Death Strike Tarantula. Once you've tamed the pet, fight a few things until you've learned the spell. Now, Bite might take a little bit longer than you expect as it's a longer cast time. Either way, we need to learn the spell. Once you've learned it, abandon the spider and head further east to find a silk crawler on the beach. Again, you need to look for a level 40 silk crawler. Many of these may be level 41, but they can be found in both the south and the north sections of the beach. Once you've successfully tamed your crab, fight things until you've learned rank 6 claw, then abandon your crab forever. The other reason why cats really stand out as the best pet is due to the fact that they can learn both dash and prowl. Now, pets can only learn up to four abilities in Classic WoW, so many hunters may choose to keep Rowl on their bar, and you may only be running one of these options with Bite, Claw, Growl, and Dash or Prowl being the four abilities you go for. Either way, you'll want to learn both of these spells. Luckily, you can learn rank two versions of both of these spells from a single cat in the Badlands. Tame a Ridge Stalker Patriarch in the southwest corner of the Badlands and use it until you've learned rank two Dash and rank two Prowl. With that, you've got your cat kitted and ready to pump, but we can briefly talk about the other pets. Raptors, really, they just can't learn dash or prowl, and that makes them inferior. Wolves, they get furious howl, which is neat and, and pretty cool for some solo farms as the howl is good for helping aggro mobs as you run around trying to collect a bunch of enemies using the pet and dash to clump them all up and then AoE farm and dungeons like SM Cathedral or Olda, um, but they don't have Claw, and in the end, they're just going to have worse DPS. Wind Serpents, they're still solid. And although I haven't tested them myself, apparently they benefit from having a Boomkin in the group. Uh, the biggest downside is Lightning Breath rank 4 is a level 42 spell. So this really kind of hurts their ability to, to kind of top the charts, and I think cats are just always going to be better this phase. Um, gorillas, uh, a lot of people ask about gorillas. They're fun because they're tanky and they have an, a big AoE ability that's going to grab a lot of threat. Um, so these are fun for some like open world uh, AoE farming where you're not farming elites per se, just trying to grab a few mobs at a time. Um, but, you know, their stomp ability doesn't work with kill command. There isn't really any fun, cool stuff you can do with them to make them super mega tanks. Um, and I find them to be... You know, just kind of a neat open world pet, but not really something I put a lot of stock into. I think that pretty much covers it for the Season of Discovery Phase 2 Pet Guide. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please toss it a like and subscribe for more Season of Discovery content. Thanks for watching, and good luck, and have fun.